you might have noticed I haven't put any new outfits out. It's mostly just been all the content that I already recorded because I had like a hundred videos like pre-recorded so I've just been going through those. Um, I've had like the worst possible week ever. Um, so uh, the beginning of October my dog Pepper she was like at least 10 um, and I've had her for like eight years. She started Act, like feeling sick and I, we thought it was just like a normal UTI and so we put her on antibiotics and they worked for like a couple days but then they stopped working and she got to where she couldn't even walk and when we took her to the vet um it turned out that she had a uh infection in her uterus from a failed uh heat cycle because apparently if they don't have a successful heat cycle and they're not spayed the older they get the more likely they are to um get this infection and it actually kills like a ton of older dogs which i didn't know because otherwise i would have tried to get her spayed when she was younger because when she got older it was harder because it would be harder to for her to heal so i just didn't and when I took her to the vet, it was, they were like, her organs are going to start shutting down from the infection. Like, the infection's really bad. The only other option would be to remove her uterus with, like, a doggy hysterectomy, but she wouldn't survive. So, they said it'd probably be better to just, um, put her down. So, we had to do that. And I got more traumatized from that because, uh... They were like, oh, we're just going to put her, uh, I didn't want to get her cremated. I wanted to take her home and bury her at home. And they were like, we need to put her butt in a trash bag so that if she waste, like, produces any waste, while, you know, that it won't be all over your car. And I'm like, okay, like, that, that's okay. But then the doctor puts her all the way in, all the way up to, like, her eyes. And that's just like, I don't, it's like they put her in there like she was rubbish. And it hurt my feelings so bad. I'm like, I understand what you're trying to do, but Jesus Christ. So I got to take her out of the trash bag when I got her home. I had to dig the hole the barrier. And she's a pit lab, so she's really large. So it took me, like, two hours. And the ground was really hard. Like, I had a pickaxe trying to dig the ground. It was so miserable. And then me and my honey went, and that was, um, not last Friday, but the Friday before. And then this last Sunday, we went and, uh, made it a memorial spot for her in the yard where we added some nice rocks and some pretty flowers. Um, we just did some mums. I'm going to plant peppermint in the spring. I can't right now because it's about to be winter. Um, okay. So that was, last Sunday, um, on my way to my honey, because I, um, uh, she had passed on Friday, and I buried her Friday, and then Sunday, we made the memorial, uh, before he got there for us to make the memorial, um, I had went and got my oil change, so that was, like, a hundred dollars, it was a hundred and ten dollars to put my baby down, and that was just so miserable, I'm like, you're charging someone this much to kill my dog, that sucked, that sucks so bad, so, Monday, you know, I um, go to work. It's terrible. I had an interview for a possible promotion. I did not get it. And they said it wasn't my fault because there was just people with better, like, qualifications. But it still felt miserable because it's like, okay, just more things. Um, I fill up my car on my way home. And then when I get, so it's like full, full. Tuesday, I got to get in my car, and it won't start, and so we got it towed to a um, friend's brother's shop to get him to them to look at it, and basically, it needs a new engine, fuel pump, and um, turret something. I don't know what it's called, but either way, the engine's like 10K, and like we could get one rebuilt, but it's, it's not really that worth it. And my warranty from when I bought it in 2022, basically, they gave me only 30,000 miles between 2022 and 2025 when the expiration date for it was. But you have to meet both the expiration date and the mileage. So, basically, uh, the warranty doesn't cover anything. So, I'm about to get have to call my insurance and uh, I have to 
leave the waifu wagon because I can't keep all my stickers. And it's like $200 in stickers on the back, $200 for the two sides because it's fully like waifu'd out. It's so cute with the Wicked Lady, which they don't make that one anymore. So I'm going to try and message the seller I originally bought it from and see if they can reprint it one more time. But I highly doubt it. So then that'll be out of the way. And then like the the week before she got sick, there was this whole drama with this lady um, flipping out on me because I politely asked her, I was like, hey, like, when you're done with books, like, just leave them on the table. I'll put them away. Um, I don't need your child, like, shoving them back in random spots because that makes them that makes them lost. That makes it hard for us to find them and for other patrons to find them. And, and I was like, that's all. It's like not a big deal. But the whole time she was like, okay, okay, I get it. Okay. And like, she was so mad, right? Well, that night she posted a terrible review saying like, I was extremely rude and disrespectful and I could have said it nicer. She was like, I get it. I understand. But you could have said it nicer. I'm like, I said it as nice as possible. She said I scolded her and her child who I spoke to the parent, not the child, until she cried. Which was not what happened. And I told her, like, the parent, like, just leave the books on the table. Like, I'll put them away when you're done. Like, it's, you know, better than letting a three-year-old shove them in random spots all over the place. Because I found over a dozen books that she had shoved in. And then, that was a Friday. And then the following Monday, she comes in to, like, scream at me in the, in the thing. And I'm like, hey, like, if you have a problem, like, you can just go talk to my manager. She's right there. And she's like... I want to talk to you. And I'm like, um, well, you can talk to my manager. All right. And then I said, okay. And then I left. I went to the back and I just stayed back there. And because she couldn't yell at me and she was telling the manager how she wanted to talk to me, uh, she left because she wasn't going to talk to the manager and I wasn't coming out. And it's like, she'll be banned if she comes back and tries to start something again. But this isn't even her normal library. But like, she even had her sister call and complain like, I can't believe all this. And I'm like, bro, we just asked your child not to put books back where they don't belong. Like to just leave them on the table, like minimum effort, nothing. I didn't yell at nobody. Like I didn't cause a scene because no one had even visually seen this. So you would have seen if I was scolding someone in this quiet library where there was like no one else except that parent and their child, you would have seen me scolding them. And like we had, and it's, it was like such drama. So like it was just very stressful for no reason. And then all this crap happened and I lost my dog and she's my ESA and she was my sweetest baby ever. And she was so heavy and it was so hard to dig like her grave. And I had to basically dig a grave big enough that I could fit in if I didn't have legs. And it was just a lot. So this has been a lot. This has been a lot. This has been ongoing, like, all of October. It's taken most of my enthusiasm to dress up. I dress up today, and I'm going to dress up sort of tomorrow because it's Halloween. But, yeah, it's just, like, so stressful for no reason. So, me and my honey are sharing a car. So, I'm in this beat-up truck because that's what I got. And, yeah, um... This has been my week. I want to try posting some new outfits soon. And I also want to try doing some new types of fashion. Because before all this started, I was working on like two JSKs that I was making from some kawaii prints that I got. Um, I have like a rough idea of a Blue's Clues JSK I want to make. I just got to find all the fabrics that I want. And some of them are at like Joann's, so it was really easy. I wanted to make a Blue's Clues uh, Yukata, because I have this idea for a Blue's Clues, um, Uishi Decora look. I also have one for Cookie Monster, because I'm trying to do new looks, new ideas. I was planning to do a, um, uh, Decora Gyeru look, and a Gyeru Lolita look, because I'm trying to work on doing more, like, Gyeru looks. I've only done, like, one or two, but when I do Gyeru Lolita. I don't want it to be Hime Gyeru. I want it to be like something different. Uh, so I'm trying to plan all these looks and do all these things. But now I have to get a new car and I have to figure out my loan through my car and all of this stuff, which happened for no reason. And the reason the car wouldn't start was mechanical failure. It wasn't like I did something or someone else did something to it. It just broke. So yeah, that's been my life update this past couple weeks. And I will. Keep you posted, and I'll try to post more. Bye!